Thanks. Another police crackdown tonight, this one over golf carts and underage drivers. Daphne police say they get the calls every day, especially during the summer months when kids are off from school. Now the department is implementing a zero tolerance policy aimed at parents. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us now. James City is like Fairhope say they have a problem as well. Well, both police and Daphne and in Fairhope say they have the problem, and even the sheriff's office is getting those phone calls. In Alabama, if a golf cart or a slow speed vehicle is on the road, it has to be where the speed limit is 35 miles an hour or less. The driver has to have a driver's license and it has to be safe to drive. They all have everything that's required, like safety belts, you have headlights, turn signals, of course you have brakes and things like that as well. So it just makes it for a nice, comfortable, relaxing, enjoyable ride. In Fairhope, the golf carts have become so popular there's a dealership downtown. Fairhope does not have a golf cart ordinance, and neither does Daphne. Both cities follow state law, and they expect golf cart owners to do the same. The past three weeks, Daphne police have been on an education campaign, handing out warnings mostly, but they will start handing out tickets soon. We wanted to give fair warning that this is not going to be tolerated any longer. What we're really interested in is, is getting the children off the streets. Mm -hmm. And uh, the charge for that is, is, is allowing an unlicensed driver to operate a motor vehicle. The golf carts have their place. Stephen Roberts is a real estate agent. Oh, yeah. The golf cart's a great tool for showing property. Being a little bit smaller, it's easier to get through downtown traffic. But for police, it's about getting those underage drivers out of the driver's seat. We believe if we don't do something about this, there's going to be a crash and, and one of them's going to be severely injured or killed. Now, for now, police in both Daphne and Fairhope say they're very serious about their zero tolerance policy. Warnings for now and court dates may follow later if people continue breaking the law. Now we're live in Daphne, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.